Hello everybody and welcome back to our tips and tricks series for DOT2 consoles. This is Michael Quincy Stratman from Tech Support at ME Lighting International. We started 2017 with a little series about commands and cues. In the first one we showed you the basics and we fine-tuned the basics by putting in a time in our second clip. Today we want to follow a user wish and he said he wants to trigger several cue lists from one. So we show you how to do this. I have a few example cue lists here on my executors and also on page number three there's one. I called some example to identify them easier. So let's put a trigger queue and there's nothing on my main queue list and my programmer is empty so I store queue in here. Let's have a look at it. There it is. And how to do the command. So these are executors. Page 2, 1, 4, 5. And on the other page it's number 3.3. .3. That's what I have to put in. Exec. Where have we been? 2.1. And you can add several by putting in plus, for example. Exec 2.1 plus 2.4 plus 2.5 plus 3 point on page number 3. Which one is it? Number 3. Number 3 at 100 percent time 3. So let's have a look. Three seconds should give us enough time to switch the page over and have a look and go. There they rise up and also this one. So if you want to have several queue lists started from one go, you can use this. Instead of plus, you can also go with through. So executor 2.1 plus 2.4 plus 2.5, we could also say 2.1 through 2.6, there's nothing on there, or 2.1 through 2.5, plus the other one on the other page. This one should work as well. And we have a goal, there it works. Wonderful. That's it for today. We make short clips this time, and... Um, we see you in two days and then I show you how to put more than one command into one entry. That's it for today. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Take care. Have fun. Bye.